inna alhamdulillah thumma salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala ahlihi wa sahbihi ajmain amma bad fa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome everyone once again to alal dollars free training and coaching program Inshallah, today we are going to be learning how to chat with our prospects. So whenever our prospects send messages to us, how do we respond and how do we end up converting them to people who would be paying? So the first thing is your initial response. What do you say to them when they message you initially? Once they see maybe your comment or they see your message and they respond to your message or they respond to your comment what is the first thing you do you should appreciate them for responding so you should thank them if it's a comment you should, you should tell them thanks for your comment if it's that maybe they responded and showed interest in an offer you give them you should tell them that thanks for your interest if it's a message you should tell them that what thanks for your message that's the very first thing you must do. You must do this. This is very, very important. It shows that you are ethical and it shows you are polite and professional. The next thing are the statements you should avoid. Now, the statements you should avoid are first, begging. You shouldn't use words like please. It shows that you are, it shows that you are more like begging them for you to work for them. And that's not the situation. We want you to present yourself like a professional. We want you to present yourself like someone who knows what he's doing. So you shouldn't use words like please. You should portray yourself like someone who is an expert. Then you should not use statements like DM me. No, don't do this. Don't send them DM me. Maybe, maybe they respond to a comment you now say send DM me. No, you should not send DM me to anyone. You shouldn't ask State, uh, questions like how much do you want to pay the 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 it's it's not ethical enough how much do you want to pay we can see it here in nigeria amongst ourselves but when you want to charge people online you should be very ethical you shouldn't ask how much do you want to pay we are going to tell you what you are supposed to say in situations like that to inshallah then statements like i can do it at a cheap price don't ever make the mistake of presenting yourself as cheap. If you present yourself as cheap, then there's no point. Because if you are an expert, then you should be expensive. If you are not an expert, maybe you should be cheap. But you never ever see someone presenting himself cheap and people will believe he's an expert too. Do you understand? So the very first thing you should know is that you should never ever make the mistake of presenting yourself cheap or telling them that you are going to do it for at a cheap price. No. Do you understand? So thereafter is how do you engage them? Now they've responded to your message. Do you understand? And you have thanked them. You don't just keep quiet and thank them and you keep quiet. You have to actually ask questions about the project that will make them respond to you and tell you more about the project which will now end up leading you to agreeing on an offer so what are the questions you should be asking the first of them is how soon do you want it ready so the person has shown interest in your service your website design service in our case so one of the questions you should ask them is how soon do you want it ready that's how soon do you want the website ready so when they respond, you can tell them things like, I like to use infographics, illustrations, stock images, and videos for visual aids. Do you mind if I use them in your project? So you ask them questions like this. So you ask, after they've responded to how soon they need it done, you ask them the second one. So you, maybe when, when, for example, they, if after you've asked them how soon do you want it ready, and they say maybe I need it in say about two weeks two to three weeks you can just respond to them by saying oh perfect then after that you can now tell them that okay i like to use the do you understand infographics and, and the likes then they'll tell you oh sure do you understand then you ask them do you have a logo or do you want me to create one for you so you ask them that too so 
if they have a logo they will give you a logo if they don't then you can actually even upsell and charge them for creating a logo and after that then you ask them do you have brand colors or brand guideline to be used in the website so that like are there colors that you have that you have your brand colors maybe your brand color is yellow orange or whatever it is so or do they have a brand guideline for maybe the kind of colors or fonts that they usually use for all their design so if they have that then that will be what you'll be working with so and if they don't have and they don't mind any design you know as much as it's nice then you can always come up with something very nice with them. so these are the, the ways you engage them by the time you would have engaged them you would have if you would have gotten substantial information about what the whole project is about so the next thing is how you will now negotiate so after you've gotten all this information from them then you should negotiate a price so what you're going to do is you're going to tell them that your normal charge so you tell them that I charge between five hundred dollars and two thousand dollars. This price is not sankos and this price is not fixed. So this price we are going to be showing you a, a price table when we when we explain how to charge for different types of websites. So but I'm just saying this, I'm just giving you five hundred to two thousand just for the sake of example. Depending on the kind of websites they will be needing, you would be charging them different prices. And depending if it's a local client like a Nigerian client or an international client, the prices will differ. So we are going to explain that inshallah. So we told them that I charge between five hundred dollars and two thousand dollars for standard website design. But since this is our first, this since this is our first time, I will be working with you. Like since this is the first time I'll be working with you, sorry, I'm open to give a reasonable discount. So what's your best offer for this project? So you're letting him know how much you charge your standard amount. Then you tell him that, okay, I'm open for a discount, for, to give you a discount. And then you ask him how much he's willing to pay. Usually this is going to make them actually give something that is always very reasonable. So now that that is understood, we are now going to go to our assignment. So the we are going we've created a template for all the statements we have said so far so you will be able to have them so your assignment is just to download the template and save it where you can easily access it so so you, you can always find the download in the description of this video so you just click on the title of the video if you are using your mobile device and if you are using your system you can always click on the more um what do more and you see the whole description so basically once you you you, you open the description you're going to see a link to download the template so the template contains all what we have said so far so you should save it because you can have anyone responding or commenting or engaging you at any time so it should be something you have at a close reach so that you'll be able to respond to them immediately we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it better understood than said and if it gives us our short comments, please be sure to like, subscribe and share. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi, nashhadu Allah ilaha illa and wa nastakfiru wa natubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa